Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. It's time to give away 50 free social media titles and transitions. Adobe hired me to create 50 titles on, for the release of Adobe Premiere Rush. And if you haven't seen Premiere Rush, it's a much easier version of Adobe Premiere Pro. I will have a tutorial on that in the future. These titles can be used in Premiere Rush. They can also be used in Premiere Pro CC uh, 2019. So they're drag and drop right into the timeline. Let's have a look. These are on my Adobe stock page. They're titles, lower thirds, other kinds of transitions and effects. And we'll go through using each one of these and I'll show you where to download them. So there's lots to choose from. And some of these are these little uh, emojis and they're all animated. So that's where you can download them for free. And in Premiere Pro, in the libraries, this is where I keep them. Normally you will use motion graphics templates in the graphics workspace, which I'll show you in a second. But I have a full tutorial on using libraries. It makes it a little easier. And I've organized all 50 of these into my library. Unfortunately, you can't move them all at one time. I had to move them one at a time, 50 operations to get them in. All right, so let's just look at some of these. And these are drag and drop titles. So I'm gonna drag this over to video track two, and I'll hit play. And you can see this comes up on the screen. Now, some of these have responsive design and you can actually see there's little pink areas on the left and right. And responsive design, uh, there are two different things about responsive design. And again, I have a whole tutorial about creating and working with motion graphics templates or Premiere Pro graphics is, is what Adobe likes to call them. It's kind of odd. They call these things two different things. If it's outside of Premiere Pro and you're, and you're sharing it, they call it a motion graphics templates or Mogurt for short. But if it's in Premiere Pro, it's now called Premiere graphics, whatever. Um, if I select this and go to my graphics workspace and click on the edit, you'll see that there's responsive design time and there's also responsive design position. And again, I, I have full tutorials on this. Bottom line is this, responsive design time means that I'll drag this lower third out, it has an animation at the beginning and the end, and you can stretch it as long as you want and it won't affect the beginning and the end. So if you want a longer time for this title on the screen, just drag it longer. Not everything has responsive design time. Some of the, the quick little emojis just pop in and pop out and they're not meant to be extended. Um, responsive design position means I'll show you once we get this up here on the screen, I'll select the text and type my name. And you see that it responds to that position. So now when it pops up, boop, although she's not me, you get the idea. And then at the end, it pops off the screen. Okay, so that's just one of the, uh, the titles. If you go to the effects controls panel, you can see all of the keyframes and animation that went on in that title. Okay, so there's lots of lower thirds. Each one having a different type of design. You can see this pops up with these lines that, that flow in between, and then it pops up. Now, I was under strict guidelines in creating these uh, titles. I couldn't use After Effects. I couldn't use any video effects in Premiere Pro. I couldn't use anything except position, rotation, scale, and opacity. That's all I could use. And I wasn't uh, allowed to import in stuff from Photoshop or Illustrator. So every single thing you see was drawn with the pen tool in Premiere Pro. And the pen tool is not the easiest pen tool in Premiere Pro. So let's keep going here. So that again is another lower third. Let's grab some more. Uh, here's a spinning outline one. Okay, 
you can see that spins in and then spins back and pops up. And a lot of these have playful designs. So I took a, a lot of time to not just move something from one place to another, but move it and, and make it wiggle in so it has a bit of motion on it. All right, let's look at some of these. Uh, they're called transitions, but they're really a bunch of graphics on the screen. So I'll drag this between two clips. And here's a little secret for working with these transitions. Um, I designed mine uh, so that there's only a very small area where the full screen is, is obscured and these shapes come onto the screen. So when you're trying to position this on another uh, track and you're positioning the middle point, it can be a little bit difficult to move it with the mouse. So if you hold the Alt key on Windows Option on Mac, have the title selected and hit the left and right arrow, you'll, you'll shuttle it around one uh, frame at a time. But if we look at it here, so there's that clip and there's that clip, and this is going to transition between the two by having those shapes. Boom, that's all it is. So it's, it's not a transition like you would normally think uh, in Premiere Pro, but it does help you transition graphically between one of these uh, clips and another clip. Got a few others in here. This one's a little bit longer, and it's a bunch of circles that grow on the screen. You can see they grow up big, and then they scoot away. And you could completely edit these. You can change the color. Well, let me just show you that. We select this and we go over to our edit essential graphics and click on a shape. You can see I can click on the, the color and completely change this color if I wanted to. Click on the other one. You get the idea. So lots of ways that you can customize these. And now we've got a different a transition with different colors. Okay. Another, uh, let me show you. One of these transitions that was really difficult to make because of the amount of shapes. So here's an example. The transition point is when the screen is filled with these squares. And if you can have a look on the right hand side, I had to animate every single one of these squares and it was a lot, a lot of keyframes. So let's go to the, I'm holding the shift key and moving my playhead to the middle. I've got this selected, holding Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, and right arrow, and boom. So that's the point where the screen is filled with these shapes. Now when I play, boop, and it goes over. So this is based on a design called Mondrian. So if you're uh, familiar with this uh, particular artist, uh, this design, that's where the colors came from. It's a very minimalistic yellows, blues, reds, blacks, and whites. Another one that was fun, and that's a an LED bouncing up and down. So you can see that it comes up. Well, let me just, it's a pretty quick one. Boom. And when we get to the top and we're blasting that all the way up to the top and it's green, it's red, then we transition into the next one. And again, if you look at all the keyframes on the left hand side, the amount of work that went into these was unbelievable. Okay, <clears throat> let's keep going. Here's an effect. Here's a transition that is a lens flare. And, and lens flares have been around a long time. Uh, and again, I'm going to use my Option Alt key to move this around where the lens flare flashes full white. So let's have a look at this transition. Boop, white. Remember, I told you I couldn't use any effects or after effects or this. Lens flare is made of shapes and position, scale, and opacity keyframes. Again, look at all the keyframes on the left-hand side. And you can see it has that same kind of color and effect that the lens flare has. 
I'm going to, at the end of this, I will play back the timeline with every single one of the titles in it. So you don't have to wait for me to. And now let's talk about some of the social media ones. Well, here's one that I, that I really had a lot of fun with. And that's something I called heart explosion. Boom. Come on. You got to love that one. And the hearts explode on the screen. The position, I think, is off a little bit because uh, it could be to the right. If you select the title and in, the, uh, in your effects controls, all the way up at the top, there's vector motion. If you twirl this down, you can change the position of everything. So all of these different keyframes are now moving in their relative position. This is much easier than selecting all of these layers and changing their position. Now, when you hit play, boop, they're more centered around their face. Now, one of the other uh, requirements that Adobe gave me was that these titles, when you drag them into the frame, they have to position themselves correctly for landscape or horizontal, uh, but also vertical as if you shot vertical video on your mobile device, or if you were preparing something for say Instagram that was square. So let me show you the exact same thing. Let me, let me show you a portrait video and dragging the hearts in it. Boom, so it's positioned correctly and square. I can't tell you how hard this was for me to do because I, I had to go into the responsive design, position, scale, keyframe, anchor points. Uh, some of these took um, a few days to figure out on how to correctly make them so that they would show up that way. So all the lower thirds will show up in the lower third, regardless if it's portrait, landscape, or square. All right, let's keep going on a few more of these, um, these social media ones. Let's go over to this clip here, and let's look at some of these little emojis. So here's a tweet bird, and you can see it flies out on the screen. And this one does have responsive design. So if you want the username to show for longer, drag the end. This, the responsive design on this one is only at the beginning. So again, another requirement here was all of the graphics could not infringe on any copyright. So could I draw the actual Twitter bird? Uh, yeah, uh, but they didn't want it. So I, I drew a bird that would give the impression that this is what the Twitter bird looks like without looking at the, like the Twitter bird. Can you change the color? Of course. We'll select um, both of these shapes. So I, there's the wing and the body. So right now they're set to this purple color, but I could easily make them a blue co color. and use the eyedropper. And now we've got the same color, but again, a different bird that does not infringe on any copyright. All right, here's some tears of joy. So again, that was one that is just supposed to pop up on screen and go away. Now, one great use for this motion, vector motion, I got a whole tutorial on that is, I can scale this up and position this wherever I want. So if I wanted a larger tears of joy emoji, now it appears over there, I hit play, boop, tears of joy. Because this is made of vector shapes, remember I had to draw everything with the pen tool and the shapes tool inside Premiere Pro, that means they're infinitely scalable. Very useful. I made some other generic share titles. So this one comes up, bonk, changes to a, a check mark. This one does have responsive design time so you can drag it out and then it goes away with a simple fade. Okay. 
So lots of these um, emojis. Oh yeah, we got a, here's the heart eyes. Same thing, we could position that wherever we wanted. Blowing kisses, heart kisses, pops on, boom, boom, boom. Okay. And our angry emoji. And here's one that I created for chatting. I, I thought that this was uh, interesting where it pops up, he's waiting for, for someone to chat. And once that other person joins, then a heart pops up. Okay. I also have some movie titles. Oh, by the way, all the video clips in this tutorial were provided by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics, templates, illustrations, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project. They pop up on screen and then slide away. And lots of different elements with this, and you can change the text if you want, of course. Um, another one. has a little film, a little film camera icon that pops up. Oh yeah, and another one here, this is kind of along the same thing as the uh, lens flare for the Instagram folks out there uh, taking pictures of selfies. I'll play this, it pops up, takes a selfie and then disappears and the username is up there. Oh. So again, you can double click on this. So now I've got my Instagram account. Boop, boop, there it is. And if we went back to the square, drag this onto the square, it's gonna show up correct for the square, it's going to show up correct for the portrait. And here's my flying drone title. Remember, there's no after effects, there's no pre-comps, there's nothing. I made the propellers and everything together. This is all drawn and animated directly in Premiere Pro. So there you go, 50 free titles. You gotta download them one at a time and install them one at a time. Um, I'll have a link at the end about the, I've got a whole playlist for creating motion graphics templates. I have a tutorial on um, uh, vector motion and also one on library. So you can begin to use these, you can customize them. So you can take mine and, uh, you know, mess with the keyframes, could do a completely different uh, design, change the color. Of course, you can just drag and drop them in and, and change the text very easily if that's what you want. All right. So there you go. That's uh, something new from Video Reveal to all of our viewers out there. If you want to grab these and have fun, uh, please go ahead. Thank you so much for Adobe for uh, hiring me to make these titles and making them free for, for everyone. I really appreciate that. They were not easy. You're looking at 50 titles. This is about three months of very, very frustrating work uh, because the vector motion was not in um, a Premiere Pro at the time. So I had to zoom in with very pixelated blurry screen and use the zoom in, zoom out of, of windows on a 4K screen to try to line things up. Yikes, it was not easy. But I did it and there you go. So have some fun. If you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, like all of our wonderful PayPal supporters, there's a link in the description on the front of the page. You can donate one time or monthly. Thank you to all of our PayPal supporters. If you want to be notified of our weekly tutorials, you got to ring the bell down below. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking at your